hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're talking about a special scholarship that's the helmut schmidt program a scholarship for public policy and good governance sponsored by dad that's the german academic exchange service so that's the very popular scholarship and there are different kinds of scholarships under that so this helmut schmidt program is one of the numerous scholarships fully funded in Germany. So interestingly, I got the scholarship in 2018. I think I still have my scholarship award letter here. Yeah, this is it. At the University of Duisburg, Aachen in Germany. And 10 people from this channel as well, since 2018, have also been awarded similar um, scholarships or have been awarded the same scholarship, the Helmut Schmidt scholarship. So you're in good hands here. We are experts, so to say, in um, raising scholars for the Helmut Schmidt program. By the way, I'm not speaking on behalf of DAD or the Helmut Schmidt program, but I'm sharing my own personal experiences and personal tips with you on how to win this scholarship. So we have quite a track record. I'm a Helmut Schmidt scholar and we have like 10 Helmut Schmidt scholars as well on this channel. So enough of that, how do you apply for this scholarship? So first of all, it is targeted at um, a number of graduates from developing countries and um, you have to have a first degree, not a first class, but a first degree, bachelor's degree. In fact, somebody last year had a second class lower and still got the scholarship. And that was because he had solid work experience. So apart from the degree, you need to have evidence of social engagement, you know, either from internships, from work experiences, from volunteer experiences and things like that. You have to be committed into development, peace, and democracy and things like that. So then you have to apply for one of the eligible courses. We'll be looking at the courses shortly. And then um, you have a list of courses. Only those courses are eligible for the scholarship. If your course is not on the list, you cannot apply, unfortunately, for that for this scholarship. So we're looking at the eligible courses together as well. So what does the scholarship cover? It covers full tuition exemption, so you're not paying fees. It covers a living allowance of 931 euros per month, covers health insurance, covers travel costs. In fact, you wouldn't have to pay for a visa fee when you get the scholarship. So your visa fee is waived, and um, that is going to reimburse you as well, your traveling expenses. So you have nothing to fear, that got you covered. So there's also traveling grants or research grants rather. So if you need to probably go for field work for your dissertation, that will also support you. There's also family support. So in case you want to bring your family along, in fact, a former classmate of mine brought his wife and children, about three or four children as well, and they were all catered for by that. So in case you want to bring your family, of course, you're free to do so. There are also opportunities to learn German, even though most of the courses will be taught in English language. There's usually an introductory course in German, you know, to get you acquainted with the German culture and the German language, so you can make friends, you know, move around the town, buy things, ask questions. A number of my friends also decided to stay back after their studies, and um, their German proficiency actually helped them to, you know, socialize, to get jobs, to find their partners and things like that. So it's a very good opportunity as well. And it's not necessarily connected to your study. That's the course you're going to study, but it's a way of integrating you into the German um, society. So as I said, most of the courses are taught in English. And about one or two of them are taught in German. But most of the courses, as you see, are taught in English. We'll, we'll be looking at the courses shortly. So what are the essential documents? There's a DAD form that you have to fill. I think I have a copy of mine. This is mine here. And um, I've also done a video on how to fill the form. It's, yeah, it's a form here. This is the form. And you have, you have to attach your other documents to this form. So a one PDF document 
where your the dad form your um, academic qualifications your statement of purpose everything is um here written together so it's very easy to do that just go to pdf merger you can merge all your documents together so you need the dad form you need a letter of recommendation of motivation rather the letter of motivation would say why do you want to apply for this course how does it connect to your background your academic and professional background and how does it connect to your future ambition as well why did you select this particular university and you're allowed to select a maximum of two universities and in this form the that form we talked about you have to specify your priorities so state your first choice and state your second choice of university and then send just one motivation letter to both universities so the motivation letter is sent to university a is the same motivation letter is sent to university b but in them you signify that okay this is my first choice and this is my second choice and i hope that's a very important piece of information and it's even highlighted here it's in bold made in bold letters here so make sure you pay attention to it so two courses prioritize them first choice second choice so let's move on um, you don't need to upload anything on the dad portal for now it is only those who are nominated that are invited to upload their documents on the dad portal all these documents we mentioned earlier whether it's your cv your motivation letter the dad form you're actually sending it to the, one of the participating universities so when you get shortlisted by the university then you're later invited to submit your documents to the dad portal as i said in a previous video different dad scholarships have different applications requirements so why some will tell you to go directly to the dad portal this one would say first apply to one of the universities and then move to the dad portal so let's see as i said there might be um, a brief language course that you would do which is um very short for between six to four months before your course begins just to integrate you into the german community and so learn the language a little bit and things like that so when it comes to the language proficiency for your course most of the courses are taught in english of course but then you might have to still prove your english proficiency either by writing one of the english tests or by showing them a letter testing to your english proficiency you can go to the different universities to check their different application requirements so these are the documents once again there's a checklist form we'll be looking at this form shortly the dad form that i showed you here the letter of um, motivation i told you just one letter of motivation sent to at most two universities you can apply to just one university that's fine but if you're applying to two universities you're sending the same letter of motivation to them then your cv as well arranged in reverse chronological order i also made a video on how to make a cv just stick with me i'll show you where to get all those materials then your certificates from your school your transcripts um recommendation letter from your place of work internships recent language test certificates well, as i said if your university accepts like a letter of attestation that you speak in a particular language that's good and um, i think this is also academic references and that written by your lecturer or by your employer yeah it's it's important so there's a slight difference here so there's this one which claims written confirmation of any work experience it must be printed on a letterhead include signature and dates so i think here you would get a letter showing that you worked for a particular organization whether it's a volunteer or whether it's your full-time job and this is a little bit different this is actually a reference letter so this is more like a letter of employment or a letter of engagement and this is a reference letter also letter headed and stamped and dated as you can see here so the scholarship opens actually on the 1st of june so that's still some time to come because this video will probably get to you on the 20th of may 
So you might ask, why are they announcing the scholarship even before the opening date? And I think the simple answer is they want you to start preparing on time, start putting your documents on time. So you have sufficient time to put forward a competitive application, enough time to put forward a strong application. So it opens, so you start sending your documents. It opens on the 1st of June and closes on the 31st of July. So you have like a two month window. Enough time guys, enough time to put your documents together. So let's go. So the, most of the forms you have to fill are electronic forms. So you just have to type in your details into them. And these are the universities. These are the different universities I talked about. These are the different universities. I think there are about eight of them. Eight of them. So you can just check on your website and see what they entail. There's a brief summary as well of um, they are teaching the language in which the, the, the course will be taught. Like you can see English, four semesters, that's two years. This is also English, two semesters, that's one year. So this is exactly the scholarship I got at the University of Duisburg, Asin. So let's check the website of my previous university and see what they have to tell us. So this is the website of Duisburg, Asin. I'm always keep an eye on the DAD scholarship because they are self-funded candidates and they are also DAD candidates. So always keep your eye on information targeted at that scholarship candidates or applicants. Let's go to applications. This is application. And remember, pay attention to what I said, that scholarships, because this might apply to the self-funded. So you want to go to the ones for you know, that scholarship. So this is the page dedicated at the University of Duisburg Asian for those applying for the Helmut Schmidt Dad Scholarship. So this is the requirements for this university, very similar to what we've seen already. There's a checklist form. There is the Dad form itself. There is the CV. There's also a template you can use for the CV. There are other things they want you to provide here. They said at least, like this university requires at least one year for working working experience, as we have seen here. An English test as well, for those who require English proficiency. And there might be exemptions that candidates can be exempted from this requirement if um, only if they hold a bachelor's or higher degree in English language. So you can see that. And here they said everything should be submitted in a single PDF file. And I've showed you already how to merge your documents. So just go to Google and type PDF merge and any of these um, suggestions here will help you merge your PDF documents. So this is at the University of Duisburg ASEN. The other universities here, let's check for instance, let's check University of Persua. We have a number of um, scholars at this university as well from this YouTube channel. Also at Duisburg. Duisburg, we have like three people there. Plus one, we have another three or four people there. So this is like a, a Helmi Schmidt, a Helmi Schmidt YouTube channel, uh, that YouTube channel. So this is at Paswa. Remember what I said, keep an eye on the particular information for the DAD scholarship. So you can click on this. Yes, this is the page dedicated to the DAD scholarship. Mm -hmm. can read it closely and see how to apply for it depending on the particular requirement that this university is asking for. So each university might ask for something slightly different. So it's good to pay attention to the university variations in the first place. So there are different other universities you might want to check on your own. Some of them offering a one-year course, that's those with two semesters and others two years um, for the master's course. So I said there are a number of materials on my YouTube channel you might want to check out for this, um, that application. So this is my YouTube channel. Yeah, so just scroll down and there is a tab here for that scholarships. 
one of these videos will help you fill the form any video where you see this form i think there's this dad the scholarship on dad apples i also mentioned how to fill the form here you can also check out my statement of purpose my statement of purpose the one i used for um the dad scholarship so this is i think i shared it here this is the cv i used for the scholarship i wrote the cv and there are different um, videos on how to write a multi-award winning statement of purpose i essentially read out my um, dad um, schmidt's statement of purpose or letter of motivation if you like in this video so there are lots of materials actually on this channel that you can take advantage of i might probably leave links to these videos in the description box of this um, particular video. So there are lots of things on this channel. So use them to put forward a competitive application for this dad scholarship. So I'm, I'm very happy, to, of course, to welcome you into the dad family, particularly the dad Helmi Schmidt family. So as I said, I was a recipient of the scholarship in 2018. And since then about, I think 10 people from this channel also got the scholarship so it's a very big family we want you to join us sooner than later and that's it guys the fully funded master's scholarships in public policy and good governance sponsored by dad the Hermit schmidt program and i hope this was useful i hope this was insightful start putting your documents together we're here cheering for you and we cannot wait to celebrate you bye bye for now and We'll see you at the top.